Hello, and welcome to Creating with Colleen, where I will teach you what to do. I may teach you what not to do, but I promise to teach you something. So today, I want to teach you how to make these two beautiful cards using the Serene Scenery Designer Paper Stack. And I love the um, Dragonfly Dreams Bundle, which is what I'm also using. Now, they look like the cards just might be mounted on the top, but they're really special folds. So when I open my Dragonfly card, this pulls out to the side like that. But when it's closed, it almost looks like it's just mounted on the front. Now this one uses a cute little bumblebee and it also uses our layering square framelits. So with this one, same concept, just pulls out to the side. But I wanna show you how I made these, so let's get started. As I said, I use this Serene Scenery designer paper stack. You would never know that this was the same stack that they feature in the catalog on page 174. The item number is 141642, but inside you have all these beautiful sceneries right here. I love the dandelions, love this. You could just stamp a word on here and it would be perfect. This is probably my most favorite sheet. I could have all 48 sheets in this one style and be happy, but it really is beautiful. It has a lot of nice textures for manly cards masculine I guess I should say and then in the back this one is beautiful too you've got sky so just um, get this paper stack you'll be glad you did because you can make a lot of beautiful cards with it now when I did the dragonfly card I have to manually cut this square because my layering square framelits are too small for the dragonfly so let me show you how I did that I take my Stampin Up trimmer and I am going to take a piece of five and a half by eight and a half cardstock and fold it in half. So on the front part, any time that I'm measuring like an inch or less, I use the right side of my cutter because it's too awkward to try to come in this way and cut. I can't see it as well. So I'm gonna take the edge of my cardstock and I'm gonna put it on the half inch mark, which is right there. And I'm gonna actually cut from three quarters of an inch to four inches. Then I'm going to flip this. I'm going to put this edge now at three and three quarters right here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut from three quarters inches to four. Now I'm going to flip it to the right. And I am going to put this mark here, the edge of the paper, on three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to cut from one half inch down to three and three quarters. And then I'm going to flip as I did before. And then this edge here, I am putting on four inches. And again, I will just cut from a half inch to three and three quarters. And that is going to take this little square out of the front. Now, let me show you a neat treat that, trick that I did. Now, those of you who are under 40, you're probably not going to get this. But once you hit 40, you will because your eyesight starts to go a little bit. I had trouble seeing the numbers on here because this was on a clear ruler and it was hard for me to see. Well, Stampin' Up! has what they called, um, they call it tear and tape. And it's actually a great tape. It's very strong adhesive, but I like it because it's sticky. You would put it down and then you peel this paper backing off and it holds everything really strong. Well, I needed something white underneath my numbers so that I could see because I'm just a few years over 40. So what I did is I took my tear and tape, see if you can see this, I actually taped it behind my numbers. It is the perfect width. And then I just never pulled the backing off. So now when I look at my numbers, I can see them all just fine. So if you're not old enough yet to thank me for that, you will in time, unfortunately, but that's just how life goes. Okay, so now that I have this piece here, I'm gonna show you how to make the inside. So with this, this is a piece of five by six inch paper, just vanilla cardstock. And I am going to use my Simply Scored. And on the six inch side, I am going to score from two inches and four inches. So it's um, just a, divided equally. Now when you're gonna stamp on a scored line, you actually have what's called the valley and you have what's called the mountain. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Um, the valley is where we pushed in at. 
You don't want to stamp on your valley side because the ink can't get in the valley. You want to stamp on the mountain side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay pad and my dragonfly. And I'm just going to ink this up. And I'm going to stamp on the bottom right corner. And with a photopolymer, this type of a plastic doesn't give well, so you just want to push a little harder on that one. Then I'm going to take the words. The words in the ferns will actually come from the Butterfly Basics. This is a beautiful set and one that you probably already have. So I'm going to take my words with my early espresso. And I'm just going to stamp this on the top like that. So basically my inside is done. What I want to do now is just do like an accordion fold. So I will just fold to the left on that first score line and then just fold back, gotta slide it off there. Just fold back to the right. And I have the inside, that's how it will pull out. So when I go to tape this into my card, I only want to put the tape on the back of this section here. Hey, who has my tape? It's got to be here somewhere. Okay. Don't shoot a video without your adhesive right next to you. Sorry guys, haven't heard to edit, haven't learned to edit yet. So what I'm going to do here on the back of the dragonfly I'm just going to put it like that. And when I go to put it in my card, I basically want the top, the bottom, and the side to just all be kind of even. So I just put it like this. And that is the inside of the card. So on the outside, I can still take my early espresso. And again, this is um, using the Dragonfly Dreams stamp set, which I absolutely love. And I'll take the words to a wonderful friend, because hopefully you are blessed to have many of those. And I'll just stamp it on the front. So this part of the card is done, and I'll show you how to make the square. Now for the square, this is three and a half inch square of early espresso. And since my paper stack is a six by six, I'm going to get as much out of here as I can. So being a former drafter, you can bet I'm going to cut it three by three, which will give me four pieces per sheet times four sheet per packs. I can make 16 cards out of each pack of this. So I absolutely love it. So what I'll do here is I am going to take the um, Always Artichoke ink pad, and then I'm going to take the fern from the Butterfly Basics, and I'm just going to stamp a couple ferns in here, just on my corners. The paper really is going to do all the work for you. So now that I have that, I'm going to take Bermuda Bay and I'm just going to sponge my edges. And this is just going to warm everything up. You want to leave it kind of light in the center just to give it a little bit of depth. But isn't that beautiful? And it was so easy to do. So I will take this, put this on my piece of three and a half inch early espresso. And then what I'm going to do, let me see how I want it. I want to come this way. To attach it to my card, what I'm going to do, it actually gets attached like this. So I only want to put tape on the back of this side here. So I kind of hold this down, I line this up with the front because I want to have a nice even edge all the way around, and then I just lightly tack it down to make sure it's nice and straight, which it is. So that's how it looks like that. And then I'm just going to take my dragonfly and a little cut piece of a dimensional because a regular dimensional would be too big. I will put it on the back. Peel that off, God willing. 
really is easier than I make it look, I promise you. And then you'll put your dragonfly on the front. So there you have your card. Very simple. And again, the reason I had to cut this front was just because my framelit wasn't as big. So on this card, I could use a framelit. So they are the layering square framelits and they are absolutely awesome. You have 19 framelits in just one pack. So here I use the same designer paper, the Serene Scenery. I did spun the edges up a little bit with Delightful Dijon. Did the same thing here, scored this at two and four, did my stamping. But what I wanna show you, this here, this is actually a um, three inch piece of early espresso designer paper. And this here is a um, two and five eighths inch piece. I needed it smaller to fit into that framelit. So if you're not sure what a two and five eighths inch is, go to two and a half and just add another eighth and you've got it. So that will be like that, but I do wanna show you how I cut this here. It is great, absolutely great how our um, frame lists just slide one inside the other. So here they are. I took the largest scallop square framelit and then the next to the largest square. So what's nice is they fit right together. So I will put them on here, both together, put my um, acrylic piece on top and just crank it through. And when I do that, I get this awesome little frame. Just on the front like that. So then when I go to cut the front of this card for this square, I'm actually gonna use the exact same square and put it here because that's the center that I need. Just run it through and then I just took this and taped it on top. So this one's a little bit easier because the framelits do the work for you, but I think both are very doable. So I am going to post these cards on my blog, and you can see my blog at creatingwithcolleen.typepad.com, and I will put a complete list of supplies that I used. And uh, if there's any way I can help you with your shopping needs, just visit my online store and Thank you for visiting me today and let me create for you. Take care.